Donc, euh, je suis Excellence Gabriel Mbaga Obian Liman, le ministre des Mines et des Hydrocarbures de la République de Guinée équatoriale. Je vais commencer un peu avec mon français. Je pense que c'est une bonne conférence, l'impression c'est très bon, parce que c'est très bon pour Sénégal, c'est très bon pour Dakar, parce que aujourd'hui Dakar c'est la, la ville de, de le pétrole et le gaz d'Afrique. Parce que beaucoup de ministres, beaucoup de compagnies d'Afrique viennent ici pour écouter qu'est-ce que c'est la sauce que la zone est la douce. Euh, je vais continuer en anglais. Um, like I said, um, I do believe that uh, it has been well organized, um, uh, both the citizens of the city of Dakar and the country of Senegal should be very proud because for two days, uh, Senegal and Dakar is the center of oil and gas in Africa. And it's a great opportunity to be able to show to not only the continent, but to the world, what you guys are doing, not only in Senegal, but in your neighboring country like Mauritania, the Gambia, uh, Guinea-Bissau and Conakry. And I think it has been well organized. I think it has been well attended. And I think it's very ideal because of this time, because probably by next year at this time, Senegal will not be anymore a prospecting oil and gas producer, but it will be actually an oil and gas producer. And it's very important that they are actually get many conversations and cooperations with other producing countries so we can advise on what to do, what not to do, and our experience in oil and gas. Uh, I think President Makisale have said something very important. It's very keen, and this is what I have been saying, that yes, our, our brothers from Europe, uh, they are talking about they need our resources. So everybody's coming to Africa. They're coming to Equatorial Guinea, they're coming to Senegal, they're going to Congo. They say we are very happy and we want to trade to you to export. But what President Makisale is saying is that, Aret, stop a little bit. First evaluate what do we need. Once we satisfy what we need in terms of power, in terms of resources, in terms of petrochemics, then we secure an amount for us and then the remaining we can export to make money. Because in this business, it's not only about making money, it's about creating jobs. So if you are exporting, exporting and receive funds, that's really is not going to satisfy a key requirement that the youth need is to create jobs. And how do you create jobs? By using the resource that you have. If you have gas, you can do electricity. If you have gas, you can do petrochemics. If you have gas, you can do fertilizers. So the same thing that Russia can do, Senegal can do. But if it is focused to export everything out, you will be in a situation that you are making money, but you are not creating jobs. And sometimes it's not only about the money. Sometimes it's about the job creating. So I think what President Macky Saleh has seen is very important. And even one key thing that he said is that we should not focus just in logistics. Logistics is needed now because they are constructing. But when they finish, what's going to happen with the logistics company? That's why we need accountants. We need business management. We need services. We need other, other business that are going to allow that in the future we can benefit from it. So I think uh, His Excellency has been on point. That has been something that we have learned. But it is very important to focus on the value add of the resources, on the refining, on the petrochemics. All that thing needs to be done because that's what really creates jobs. Thank you very much. Okay. Merci.